Wow, dude, what a brilliant ride this was. <sighs> Don't even feel like putting my GoPro off right now. Sawadika and welcome to Thailand. We are at the beautiful W Hotel here at the heart of Bangkok. TVS have flown us here for the launch of a new motorcycle. I think we pretty much know which one that is. We're going to be riding it at the racetrack tomorrow and then on the streets of Bangkok a little later. They have absolutely blown it out of the park with the hotel that they've selected. I'm on the 25th floor and right from the bathroom to the bedroom to the view that I have here from my window, it's absolutely insane. I hope the motorcycle tomorrow is equally insane. Now, like every man who visits Bangkok, I did my research about the places where I would get the most for my money, the best bang for my buck, if you will. And as soon as I checked into my hotel, the first place I wanted to go to was Pro Shop Paddock. Get your mind out of the gutter. This store has a lot of different brands of motorcycle riding gear and is very reasonably priced. I linked their website and location in the description for you to check. The videos you are seeing on the screen right now are from my Instagram stories. I bought the former Ice Pro boots for just 8,200 rupees since mine was the last piece they had in stock. I post more on Instagram than I do over here, so if you're on IG, do consider following. Right then, let's get to the motorcycle. We were taken to a location where there were graffiti artists, BMX stunt riders, skateboarders and a bunch of other performers. As the sun set, the theme of the launch was pretty clear. While TVS is known for manufacturing motorcycles that handle well, as I walked through the doors of the event, I never thought that the new RTR 310 would be packed with so many features. After briefing us on all the technology packed into the motorcycle, Aishwarya Pise and Jagan Kumar rode the new RTR 310s onto the stage. We got a quick glimpse of the motorcycles up close. Here's what you need to know. While it shares its liquid-cooled engine with the RR310, the power has been bumped up to 35.6 PS and torque to 28.7 Nm. It gets ride modes and ABS as standard, while traction and cruise control are part of the race tuned package. The steel frame is now connected to an aluminium cast subframe to improve handling and stability. Adjustability comes standard with four step levers, and the built to order dynamic kit gets fully adjustable front and rear suspension, tyre pressure monitoring system, TVS Connect app, and a brass coated drive chain. For a little extra, the Dynamic Pro Kit comes with a 6-axis IMU which enables cornering ABS, cornering cruise control, cornering traction control, wheelie and rear lift control. It also gets a climate control seat and an exclusive Sepang blue colour scheme. Power pack features and sharp looks were served. The only thing remaining was to experience how it all came together. One sleepless night later, we found ourselves at the racetrack. Alright, good morning from Overcast, Thailand. We are at the Nako Chai Sri uh, circuit here in, uh, I think it's in the outskirts of Bangkok. It took us about an hour and a half to get here. And we'll be riding the motorcycles now on the racetrack. Batch 1 is out right now. Uh, you can probably hear them in the background. We are Batch 2, which will be heading out in a few minutes from now. They warned us about uh, bumps being on the track quite a bit. Uh, this is not like how the Chennai circuit is, MMRT. Uh, it has a few bumps, but it is a, a quicker circuit is what I'm told. Uh, looking forward to the track session, looking forward to recording videos for you guys and hopefully not crashing because that will ruin my, my trip completely. After a quick briefing about the track and safety checks, we were then led by the TVS factory riders for a siding lap and then allowed to ride freely. After getting familiar with the track and the bike, I started to find my rhythm and picked up the pace. The new frame, along with the tyres and suspension, made it easy to pick and correct my line in the corners. I love that they decided to go with the Michelin Road 5 tyres. They worked great on the RR310 and continue to encourage me to push the RTR310 on the track too. I noticed that the traction control intervened a few times in the corners when I didn't expect it to. 
but we were warned that the track surface was bumpy and it could be owed to that. The throttle felt a little choppy at times, but I was not sure whether it was because of the electronics interfering or not. It would have been interesting to see how the bike would behave with traction control switched off. The brakes worked great and gave me the confidence to brake later and later each time I came into corner one. After a short break to refresh and change into our road riding gear, we were back on the motorcycles, this time riding through the streets of Bangkok being guided by their police. Alright, we're finally done with the track session here in Thailand. We are now heading back to our hotel. All of the bikes are lining up. That's Tolfi Traveller. I'm sure most of you know him by now. In case you all don't, what the hell are you all doing with your YouTube subscriptions, man? Go ahead and subscribe to him. Um, yeah, it should take us about an hour and a half to two hours to reach back to the hotel. And uh, once we get there, my actual vacation starts. This has been fun. Thank you, Thailand. Thank you to everyone who organized this over here. Time to hit the road now. What a day it's been, man. What a day it's been. After pelting it on the racetrack now, we are on the streets of Bangkok riding through uh, what is peak traffic in the evening. There's all sorts of motorcycles that I can see around here and cars that you never get a glimpse of in India. And um, I don't think anyone has the same car. Even if they do have the same model, they've already made some modification to it or the other to make it unique from everyone else's. Everything's marked around here so well. You see that car which switched lanes back there to take a left. He did that because he wasn't taking a U-turn and didn't want to occupy the space for anyone who was. There's this uh, insane Grom kind of concept. This isn't a Grom, mind you. It's a gearless scooter just like the Navi. But it's, uh, it is something. Let's talk about the motorcycle now. I think the main thing that impressed me was how tractable this engine is. You put it in third gear and you can pretty much complete the entire circuit. Even uh, in the slower corners, third gear would have been almost enough. I did switch down a couple of times uh, to get a little more speed, but third gear might have been enough for that. No stalling whatsoever. Fourth and fifth gear would take you to about 120 and 150 is what they say that the stops are out. Wow, look at this man. I'm going to keep getting distracted I think during this ride. There's just such brilliant cars and bikes around here. Mind you, they've tuned this engine to be able to make a little more power than the RR310, which is amazing. And uh, considering the gearing seems shorter, and I think they've changed the rear sprocket, which gives it a little more, you know, power right off the bat. This is a very, very quick machine around the racetrack. Of course, it's not built for that, but if you do choose to take it there and compete against other 300cc single cylinder engines, you won't be too far behind. Another kick-ass feature that this bike has is a climate controlled seat. As you can see right now, it's in cooling mode. And while I couldn't really feel that on the racetrack, because it had to go through right through my leathers, here on the street you can really feel it. Wow, look at this. One modded car pulling another modded car, man. What the f***? The bike also gets a bi-directional quick shifter. And strangely enough, while I wasn't able to test that out at the racetrack, because I completely forgot that it was there, uh, here on the road, it works pretty well. Smooth shifts, I just probably need to get the angle of the shifter changed to uh, my foot, and then I think I'll probably be better off. Like, I'm someone who switched off the quick shifter on my uh, Adventure 390, so I really don't um, use the quick shifter as much. But yeah, if it's there and if it's something you like to do, go ahead man, use it. Let's address the elephant in the room, the 5-inch TFT, coloured mind you. The bike does have a host of options that you can customise and navigate through with the use of these buttons here on the left handlebar. And yeah, scrolling through all of the options on the screen is uh, visually appealing. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any lag whatsoever. And yeah, it's a pretty smooth and uh, user-friendly interface. The exhaust as well, I'm told, is uh, a little bit louder than the RR310 and has been tuned to sound a little more deeper than the RR310 is. It is uh, noticeably louder, I give it that. I'm not too sure about the exhaust notes of both though because I'll have to you know, hear them back to back to be able to confirm. Alright, it's been a real fun experience riding the RTR310 at the racetrack and on the street here in Bangkok. 
Um, I want to thank TVS for inviting us to the event and hosting us in such a beautiful hotel uh, and taking care of pretty much everything right from start to finish. Um, I also want to thank Toll Free Traveller, Racer Chick and the few other people that I've had the opportunity to ride with over here. It's been a joy all of these years to get to know you all through motorcycles and now finally being able to ride with you at an international circuit and an international destination. Most of all, I want to thank each and every one of you who've made the channel what it is. I don't think this all would have been possible without you all. So I know it sounds cliche, but I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me get this channel to where it is and thank you for your continued support. As always guys, at least wear your helmets while riding your motorcycles. Probably a little more if you're riding at an international destination. And ride safe. It's a freaking jungle out there. Good bye. That's what it feels like to ride through a city with a police escort. Yeah, dude. Huh? Okay. Some exercise before going on the track. And this is for? Hips. Hips, okay. This is for my only fans, huh? Five dollars, only five dollars. Five baht, five baht. Five baht? Five baht. You have to make sure your legs are free, so do this. Yeah. Yeah. Now possible. Nip possible, great bag. Came up, you can't hate that. Self made, you can't take that. Yeah, self made, you can't make that. Some said I need a record deal, I need a co-sign, I need a Dre track. But all the time I had a mean flow, I had a cold grind, and that's a great match. Hold up. Payback. Codes and I make racks. In my pockets, gonna stay fat, cause I murk beats and I slap.